time would your party start, let's say? Like 9.30. Really? That early? Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, it, no, it, it'll go from like 9.30 to like maybe 3 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock. And then, you know, we have the top two floors of the hotel. Mm-hmm. And, we'll, and then it will carry on there? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it, mm-hmm. No, I mean the, the after party. Mm-hmm. No, I know about them. Are you going to try to be early? Yes, I'm trying to be early. Are you going to be early for my party? Yes, I am. No. No. <laughs> You know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right. Not too late, though. Not too late? Not too late, please. What time would you like me there? Um, I'll tell you later. Okay. But okay. not too late. Because, you know, once you get there, the party really starts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I promise you I'm not going to let you down on this big one. All right, For good. Real. Good. Your shoes, your feet are going to have blisters. Um, You're going to be dancing so hard. I, I can't wait. The mass exodus of Diddy contacts is now starting, and one of the big ones has already left the country. Ellen DeGeneres and her wife, Portia de Rossi, they're now reportedly saying goodbye to the United States for good. It's said that they've now flown and arrived in the UK and have their multi-million dollar home in California for sale. All right, what does the panel think of Ellen leaving the country? Oh, <laughs> I, th- this I find so fascinating because first, Ellen is canceled by the left. I mean, she she said I was kicked out of show business. That wasn't from the right. That was because she had a toxic workplace and all the things that the... (laughs) (laughs) So then Trump gets... So she's canceled by the left in her country, but then she's leaving the country because the right got elected. I'm just asking about that. I don't... (laughs) It doesn't completely compute, right? Did she sell her house? Do you think she's really going to leave? Yes, she's already there. Where? And she announced it. England. Cotswold, England. England. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. but of course this isn't because of diddy at all right y'all buying that nah me either even though a court witness has said that he has seen the tapes and it's not good at all ellen says that they've left the country as they were inspired by trump's re-election many celebrities like barbara streisand Cher, sharon stone they've all said something very similar but ellen becomes one of the first ones to actually go ahead and do it which now brings me to a guy who actually has access to tapes that show multiple celebrities in these Diddy freak-offs. And I gotta say guys, that the details or what they're allowed to tell us at this point, it's really shocking. Out of those eight videos, eight celebrities, six men and two women, how many of those eight celebrities um, were were close to being underage or potentially two. underage? Two males. Two males. And of those eight celebrities, how many of them were intoxicated um, or under the influence of drugs? Uh, 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 this is going to be all speculation. I just want to preface it by he wouldn't know if appeared they to be. were. Right. Sure. Appear to Let be. Let me rephrase right. it. Based on, yes. Understand. Out of the eight celebrities um, who were recorded having intimate relations with Sean Combs, how many of them appeared to be either inebriated or intoxicated or into the influence all of drugs? All of them. All of them. Out of those eight, how many appear to be potentially victimized? How many might have been victimizing? I think um, all, to be honest, all. Were, were victims? They victims. Or were perpetrating? Victims. They were all eight were victimized. Yeah, meaning victim. this was happening to them and they were inebriated. Right. Not knowing. I guess how much proof it was in it, what they was doing. Wow. And it's being reported that they know who these celebrities are. But since he testified about this in court, there's not much specific details that can be shared to the public right now. But rumors have already come out that the FBI has actually shared the tapes of specific people, one of which was allegedly Ben Affleck, the ex-husband of Diddy's ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. So it's possible that he ended their relationship after seeing the said tapes. Now, we can't be 100% certain of this, but this was revealed by Suge Knight in his podcast, which means that the FBI is also sharing these tapes to people who are suing Sean Diddy Combs. So they have the tapes and they know exactly who's in them. Now, Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, who accused prosecutors of complete institutional failure, this comes after the fact that Diddy's jail cell was suddenly raided. 
Federal investigators got 19 pages of his notes that was shared with prosecutors. The feds also got a things to do list, which also included him telling a family member to go ahead and find dirt on two alleged victims. His notes also allegedly had inspirational quotes that he wrote for himself. Diddy's defense team argued that this violated his constitutional rights and that it has to be corrected either the recusal of the prosecution team or the dismissal of his indictment. Judge Aaron Subramian, he's ordered the prosecution to delete all of their copies of the papers for the time being. But just think about this for a second here, guys. Diddy's writing to a family member to find dirt on two of his alleged victims. Now, why would he wanna do something like that? Is it for blackmail? Is it for intimidation? Now, as far as we know, the ones who should be afraid at the moment are the celebrities who joined in on these parties that Diddy used to have, which again has me circling back to Ellen DeGeneres because look at what she tweeted back in 2016. This is from the Ellen DeGeneres show at Ellen DeGeneres on X. Happy birthday, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Diddy Combs, or as I call him, Cuddle Mr. Snuggle Stuff. You don't need to know why. At I am Diddy. Ooh, okay. That didn't necessarily age well, did it? Also, notice the time that this was tweeted, 3.03 a.m. Now, I'm not sure why this hasn't yet been deleted, but as you guys can see, she and Diddy, they're pretty tight. Now, once I release this video, you might look for this tweet and it might be mysteriously missing all of a sudden, but who knows? In a birthday message, she says she calls him Cuddle Mr. McSnuggle Stuff. Now, me personally, please don't call me that, adding that we don't need to know why she calls him that. Now, at this point, we all have a very good idea as to why this may have been his nickname. All of this has caused ripples within Hollywood. The very regime that built these celebrities up is now shaken as to what might happen in the future. Which begs the question, are we gonna see more celebrities end up leaving the country? Oprah Winfrey maybe? The Rock? LeBron James? LeBron James! Because we all talked about a tape with eight celebrities, right? Well, it's said that there are 11 flash drives that are still out there. Courtney Burgess, the witness you saw a little while ago, she says that these drives were given to him by Diddy's former partner, Kim Porter. The files were entrusted to him prior to her passing in 2018. Now, now what's more, guys, is that it's said that some of the celebrities seen are much more famous than Diddy himself. We're talking super A-list celebrities here, guys. Do you think that this list is gonna be released? Because there's a lot of talk about the Epstein list, guys. Another list that alleges how Hollywood has destroyed the lives of so many people, with some saying that there's bound to be a connection between the two. Now, the main difference is that Diddy's still alive as we speak. But what do you guys think about all this? Any guesses as to which celebrity leaves the country for good next? Now switching gears just for a little bit here, I wanna briefly talk to you guys about Kamala Harris. Now I understand that some of you guys might be sick of her name, but hear me out. Pollsters that predicted her winning are now deciding that retirement is their best option for their career. Guys, I covered this in detail in a previous video that you guys definitely need to check out after this one. But as always, thanks for hitting the like button and subscribing. Check out my next video coming up here or our playlist and clips down here. And I'll see you guys on the next one.